Hello and welcome to another episode of the Home Shopper Show. Today, I'm standing on top of a rooftop of a hotel in Santon. That hotel's name is The Capital, one of the most famous and most luxurious hotels in South Africa. We are in the Penthouse Suite, a home that boasts three bedrooms and three bathrooms with a guest bathroom. This penthouse is retailing for 18,950,000 rand. I'm standing in a secret location on that penthouse and you're gonna need to watch us as we take a tour through this incredible home to find out where we end up right at the end. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome home. Coming in the front door of this beautiful penthouse apartment, the first thing I need to mention is just how fancy and automated the locks are. As you could probably hear, there it goes, the locks close and those are three bolts that jut into the door, knowing you're safe and secure when you walk into your home. First thing I'd like to start off with though, is the guest bathroom, which is just here to my left. Immediately coming into your guest bathroom, you will notice the green veins running through the countertops. That is chlorite enriched marble, which gives it that green look. Now that green goes beautifully with all of the wallpaper and the palm fronts on it. On the left hand side, you've got your toilet tucked away, hidden cistern, soft closed top, and then you've got your huge vanity, mirror spanning wall to wall, and beautiful hand scrub fittings. And now coming out of the guest bathroom, let's talk about a few things you notice immediately as you walk into the apartment. The first is this incredible view. We've got glass spanning the whole length of the bottom floor of this apartment. All the living areas have glass windows, floor to ceiling, and it is stunning. You've got all of Santon as well as the park. So really nice to look at. Then let's talk about wallpaper and you'll see different textures and styles of wallpaper throughout the home. Right here we've got almost this threaded material wallpaper, although it is not material. Looks incredible, really goes with the look of the home. And that leads us into the guest bedroom. And here it is, the guest bedroom. Now, all the bedrooms are en suite. We've got our half bathroom, which is the guest bathroom just outside that I spoke about. Incredible space here, beautiful wood flooring and then black walls across with this featured marble wallpaper right here, giving you that pop of brightness. Another pop of brightness comes from these corner glass walls, which also includes a sliding door, which can be unlatched and opened up. And now you've got an indoor balcony, beautiful railing, stainless steel, glass here, just in case you don't trip and fall down 10 stories. But what a view, whole bit of lower Santon, really like it. Let's shut that for noise purposes. But it is a stunning bedroom. The curtains go all the way up into the ceiling, bulkhead ceiling, down lighting, central air conditioning, and this whole home is automated. So you can use your Alexa, Google Home, or even Siri to control your lights, your sound system, as you'll see, speakers in the ceiling, and all of it can be automated. So you can have your music wherever you want it. And one perfect place to have music would be in the bathroom. Let's take a look at the ensuite bathroom. Now past this frosted glass pane, you find yourself in your ensuite or on your ensuite. I don't know how that goes, but here it is. Beautiful bathroom, double vanity, some under counter storage, including a drawer with this really nifty chrome handle there. Stunning countertops, huge mirror. And then this one here has got a little bit of a zoom. So if you put a stool here and you're getting ready or your guests are getting ready, they can sit down and use this for those uh, detailed procedures that some of us do. Right over here, huge bath, really deep. Stunningly placed toilet just off the corner. Again, with some privacy frosting. Now it's one of those toilets with hidden system, soft close latch. And then we're talking about the shower, which is exactly where you guys are standing. There's a ledge in the corner of the shower for you to sit down, and then a rainfall shower head jutting out from the wall, giving you all of that luxuriousness that you expect when it comes to a penthouse apartment suite. 
Now that we're coming out of the guest bedroom, we're in the living areas. Now, this living area, the first thing I need to mention, there are actually two, and they're huge design choices. One is the lighting. You've got these huge floating horizontal pillars that provide you all the lighting going across the ceiling. Ceiling, two stories up, beautifully done. And then the staircase in and of itself is a work of art. You've got all of these vertical lines running all the way up to the ceiling. Really does make it such a cool place to be and such a cool place to look at. But let's talk about these living areas. As you can see behind me, those wall-to-wall -wall glass doors providing you a view 10 stories down of the pool area. This is the capital, as I mentioned in the intro, one of the most famous hotels in Santa, and it comes with all the amenities an upmarket hotel like this would come with. So if you're buying in here, you're getting all of that and you're gonna be enjoying all of that. Just like you'll be enjoying this living area. Massive L-shaped couch here, fits in just perfectly. Two armchairs over there, huge area rug, really nice, really comfortable place to be. Three bedrooms, three bathrooms, as I mentioned. A family of three could easily fit, live, and enjoy this home. And right over here is where they're gonna be doing all the enjoyment. One of my favorite areas, the dining room area. Again, you get to see how beautiful this staircase has been designed. We've got an eight-seater dining room table here with plenty of space on either side. You could probably even put a bigger circular dining room table here if you'd like to. And that leads off into the kitchen area. So let's talk about snacks and there's only one place you're gonna be whipping those up and that is right here within this gorgeous kitchen. Behind me you can see all of this matte blue covered space really goes with the theme of the home. All of the countertops stunning, marble clad, some veining, some gray veining running through it. Underneath you've got your bar fridge and what is a bar without your very own bar fridge and your wine cooler right over there. Under counter storage, and right over here, beautiful illuminated floating glass shelves. You put all the necessities you might need when pouring some 2009 Dom Perignon. But let's put this away before I mistakenly break it. Now passing all of this cupboard space, you've got over here your hidden fridge as well as freezer opening up and then disappearing again into this stunning matte facade again all of your cupboard space and your drawers continue this way. Here we've got a Bosch microwave as well as oven, Bosch induction cooktop, another Bosch oven underneath, and then this really cool extractor fan that's shaped like a lamp. Now on this side, what kitchen is complete without a chef sink? This one, however, Hunscrow faucet, with a little bit of a trick. Yeah, you can do it the normal way by just opening and closing this lever, or you can set it to exactly how you like it, leave it there and leave it open, and then when you want to use the water, press the on button and then you stop it by pressing the off button. So you never need to struggle finding that perfect temperature. Homes like this, there's absolutely no struggle unless we're talking about the price it takes to buy one of them. Over here, more of those great cupboard spaces. You push it to open and close them. And then, Chad, where are the rest of the appliances? Well, that is right behind this glass door over here. You will find your scullery area, that is where your double sink is, we need one of those. And then this is where you'll store both your tumble dryer as well as washing machine, dishwasher. They are under counter space for that, as well as all the relevant connections. This scullery area also has plenty extra cupboard space just in case you need it. So we've spoken about living areas, we've spoken about the kitchen, here it is, the office. If you're living in a home like this, you're gonna be signing those checks, you need to be making that money, again, Aircon central piped in from the ceiling. You've got a speaker in the ceiling giving you a little bit of relaxing music maybe and then down lighting throughout. Beautifully and tastefully decorated. This room is carpeted, so no hardwood floors here. Really giving you that feeling of a place where you can sit down and get things done in peace. And then on my left hand side again, that floor to ceiling glass window that can be open. So if you need a view, if you want some air, it can all be done right here and down there what a beautiful view all that hard work paying dividends but let's close this up and let's talk about a few other things within this office area we've got some shelving running across about three quarters way up the wall and then again as i mentioned one of the coolest features in this home is the wallpaper so here we've got these hexagon patterns running across the length of the wall with this feature bit of wood housing a tv with all of the relevant connections there each individual room has a thermostat so if you want to set a temperature you can do it individually throughout the rooms then just before we run upstairs before we run up this stunning staircase over here all of these 
solid metal bars. Let's talk about this area just behind it. So right now, it's housed for pets. Obviously, this building can take pets, but those of you who love your animals, you know you're covered. But this would also make a perfect reading nook. You can set up some chairs here, maybe a little bit of table. Sit down, enjoy the view, enjoy a good book, and enjoy the fruits of your labor. So now, it's time to head upstairs. Let's take a look at what's up there to surprise us. So coming up your stunning wood staircase, what do you find some incredible art? And I really do like this art. Speak no evil, see no evil, hear no evil, and you're gonna hear nothing wrong when it comes to this stunning landing area. Generally, this would be a pajama lounge, but what's happened here is they've converted this into a library slash study area. So we've got this countertop, again, clad in that incredible marble countertops. And then right over here, bookshelf, plenty of downlighting, speaker just above you, Obviously, you need some aircon, and there's space here for you to sit down, enjoy a good book, and take a look at those uninterrupted views of Santon and Morningside. Now, we've got a staircase over here. Obviously, you know that since you are standing right there. Beautiful stainless steel railings leading you up, really inviting. Makes me want to go there, but patience is key. So let's start on that side. Let's head to the creme de la creme, the master suite, and then we're going to take this staircase to heaven and find out where we end up after that. So follow me, let's take a look at the second bedroom located in the home. So now as we enter this second bedroom of a home, let's talk more about what you get with this home. So as I mentioned, 18,950,000 rand. And you can, should you wish, get all the furniture that you see here. Speak to the owners and ask them to include the furniture. Obviously the price will change, but it saves you all the time when this home is equipped so, so nicely. Now that does not include the art, but if you would like the art, also mention that, and it can be one of the other things you get with the home. So, now let's talk about this bedroom. As you can see, stunning little counter table here. If you're doing some work, or if one of your children are doing homework, this is a perfect spot for them. Then we've got, again, this black wall right here with this feature piece of wood where the TV's mounted. You'll see this repeated downstairs. I really like how it's done. It pops off of this black wall. Then, just where you guys are standing behind you, we've got that floor to ceiling windows with the sliding door that opens all the way up. Obviously, there's a safety railing made out of glass just ahead of that, and you can look down onto the capital pool area as well as that park. Love it. Now, talking wallpaper, we've got another geometric style wallpaper right over here, done in black as well. And behind that frosted glass door, take a look at this, we've got your ensuite bathroom area. Let's see what we've got in store for us. So through that glass sliding door, you find yourself within your ensuite bathroom. You've got all your cupboard space right over here, hidden away from the main area of the bedroom. Over here, behind this privacy pane, that is where you'll find your toilet. You've got your double vanity. This mirrors the guest area downstairs with your drawer right over there, as well as some under counter storage. Huge, huge mirror area. Beautiful illumination underneath the mirror. And then what kind of bathroom would this be in a penthouse suite if it didn't come with this ultra deep bathtub? Now above us again, we've got that bulkhead ceiling and it's got such a cool feature with the lighting shooting across and hitting the wall, making you feel like just above you is a skylight. Also plenty of down lighting here. And then the last thing that we need to talk about is exactly where you're standing and that is the walk-in shower. Extra length, lots of space. Glass clad on the right hand side, walk in and enjoy your rainfall shower head. And that is, or that should sum up this bathroom. However, we've got one more thing to do. We've got one more bedroom to show you out of the three bedrooms here. It's a creme de la creme. It's a master suite. So you guys got to come with me. Let's check it out. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the master suite, the creme de la creme, walking in here immediately get hit by that cool air from the central air conditioning above us all of this really cool down lighting speaker system and this is obviously the walk-in closet now really cool feature other than the lighting over here that is quite cool is this is your dressing area you've got your shelves you've got all of your cupboards around you've got this beautiful display cabinet with the countertop that matches the marble downstairs we've seen this stuff it is it's cool but we've seen it right what we've never seen before is if you're not using the mirror you might as well just open the mirror up. And now, 
you've got uninterrupted views of your downstairs living area as well as through those windows. You can see the Radisson, you can see the Michelangelo, you can even see the tallest building in South Africa, a building we've visited many times before, the Leonardo right over there. What a cool walk-in closet. Definitely takes the cakes of all the one we've seen. Then this is closed off by a pocket door coming through, again serviced by another air conditioning. We are now in the master suite. Again, I have to mention speaker system. You know it's gonna work out really nicely when you're sitting here in the master suite, enjoying the views and listening to some good music. Now, home automation wise, all of the blinds in the home are also controlled via your automation system. So you can open these curtains or close them using that, but plenty of space. We've got a king size bed here and it takes up absolutely no space. Take a look at how big these side tables are and it really doesn't even feel small in this room. So I love that this is one of those perfect size master suites, specifically when we're talking apartment living, even penthouse apartment living, ceiling bulkhead. And again, what kind of home would this be? specifically in this home if we didn't have unique wallpaper here now this is made out of stone really nice geometric patterns love how it's done pops off the wall makes you feel like you're somewhere expensive makes you feel like you're living the life and right over here a frosted glass pocket door separates your bedroom from your ensuite bathroom area so this bathroom is almost the same as the other two bathrooms we've seen but with some unique touches just to make it feel ultra special instead of two single vanities we've got this one extra long vanity with two different faucets leading into it again we've got a mirror leading wall to wall huge deep bathtub exactly where you guys are behind this frosted glass privacy We've got the toilet area and then right over here we've got another walk-in shower with the shower head mounted on the ceiling really bringing that meaning to a rainfall shower head so we've wrapped up the whole house the only thing left is that stairway to heaven let's take it and let's find out where we end up I think all of you can see why I called it a stairway to heaven when we find ourselves on the rooftop of the capital. This is 10 stories up. This would actually be the 11th story. So we feel like we're in heaven. 180 degree views of Santon City. What a rooftop this is. The floor decked out in wooden slabs. We've got right over here space for a dining room area, a sitting room area over here with one of these stunning little umbrellas. And then my favorite, and it's always gonna be my favorite, guys. A built-in jacuzzi right over here. I'm gonna run away from it because we have got it on. So some really cool features about this, this rooftop area is one is the sound system that's built in, as well as this, I'm gonna take a jog over here, is we've got this privacy screening with the, the plants on it, really bringing some greenery up here. So often these rooftops feel so industrial, but not here, so I love how it looks. And then we've got these lights tucked away. So one right over there, Another one right over here, again over here. So you can only imagine what it must look like to be standing here, all these lights on, middle of the night, enjoying the view and enjoying some champagne that Don Perignon right here in this jacuzzi. But ladies and gentlemen, from myself, Chad Viveros, from the team at Private Property, from everybody at the Home Shopper Show, thank you so much for tuning in again. As I say, Mondays and Fridays, 8 p.m., that's when you can watch these shows. We showcase some of the most beautiful homes in South Africa. If you'd like this home, and I don't think there's a lot of us who wouldn't like to move into this incredible home, what I'd like you to do is contact the agent. He is the youngest agent to ever list a property this expensive, so let's support him. All of his details will be on the screen right now, as well as in the description box. Give him a shot, schedule a viewing, let's get this sold let's make his career dreams come true but that is all from me guys we're going to see you next time we love you goodbye